I just a uh, real informal thing here. It's uh, July 11th. It's 8:30 p.m. Central Time, and I'm tracking this uh, Barry thing, and I'm, I'm like really confused because uh, they're talking about. You see, right over here in the Gulf, this is what I understood, and you see this disappearing right here. This is what I understood. Uh, I could be wrong, but this is what I understood was the original tropical s depression storm. I don't, I don't even know what you call this thing right here. They said that it actually split apart. And as you can see on the left here, it, it, it literally is dissipating. And this right here is already past Louisiana. Okay, right here. So I thought that this was Barry. So I don't know where Barry is right now. If this is Barry, or if 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 this is Barry, because the 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 models I've been seeing look nothing like this. Um, it looked more like over here, and now you can see a line that's forming over here. But this is west. This is well west of uh, New Orleans right here on the line on the border of Louisiana so I'm like really confused as to <laughs> where Barry is and then it, you know I, I just looked on a CNN here what are they doing here yeah Louisiana residents uh, evacuate ahead of Barry so by the way, this is the uh, U.S. National Re Reflectivity Composite Loop Map. So I'm I'm just because I'm gonna I'm gonna look. I'm doing this because I'm going to check in the morning to see uh, what develops because uh, this is unbelievable. But so my friends, this right here, what you see here, what uh, looks like could turn into something, perhaps just developed so they were tracking this storm that was there was, there was nothing there absolutely nothing there yesterday and certainly nothing there the day before and the day before that so look every let's put it this way every tropical storm every hurricane that I've ever seen develops way out here and they track it and they track it for like sometimes a week as it's coming in closer to mainland. Never have I seen something that uh, develops this close to the coast and that they're saying that could develop into a hurricane. All right. So I don't know what, what uh, imagery you guys are seeing on ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, uh, the Weather Channel, but uh, certainly it's nothing that I, again, yeah, is Louisiana getting rain? Yeah, yeah, they're getting rain, but I don't see a, uh, a tropical storm. I don't see a uh, hurricane forming or anything like that. So I don't know where you are, Barry, but uh, you seem to be invisible to me. All right, I'm going to be back here tomorrow and we'll check this out. All right, so those were some mental notes that I took two days ago. Today is uh, July 13th. It's uh, 10 a.m. Central Time. And I wanted to give you guys an update on Barry. This is the uh, wet. This is weather.com at a glance. Tropical storm Barry will take landfall today along the northern Gulf Coast, possibly as a hurricane. Listen to that, folks. Possibly as a hurricane. A major threat of rainfall flooding is in play over north northern Gulf Coast and lower Mississippi Valley. Yes, I believe that. New Orleans and Baton Rouge, Louisiana, are among the cities in high risk for flooding rainfall. Hurricane Tropical Storm and Storm Surge warnings have been issued for the northern Gulf Coast. Storm Surge flooding will also add to the water worries, particularly along and east of Barry's track. 
power outages are likely in parts of Louisiana and Mississippi, and this is the radar. But I want to go to our composite loop map, the U.S. National Reflectivity Composite Loop Map, and look at Barry. And uh, so this is what it, it basically it is the eye. Okay, they're calling. Look at my cursor here, folks. Can I? Yeah, here we get that bigger for you. This is the eye. This is the most weird. This is the weirdest thing that I've seen. Uh, calling this a tropical storm. Usually, we have more of a wraparound. Uh, you don't have the defined eye on a tropical storm, but you can see an eye. But this, what, what they're, they're calling this, where my cursor is, I believe, is the eye. Okay, so the eye is at landfall right now. But but you see how elongated this thing is. All right, and we're not seeing the wraparound. We're not seeing the wraparound like you would see in a typical tropical storm. I mean, I, it's hard. It's even hard to call this a tropical depression. It's just a, it's just a huge rain event. So yeah, is this area going to get a lot, a ton of rain? Yeah, they're flooding the crap out of this place. There is no doubt about it, and what a shame. But uh, you can see that from down here. I'm going to move over here a little bit. All right. You see all of this uh, uh, propagation anomalies over here. That's what they call this when, you know, we don't know what that is. We know it's not birds and we know it's not bees. Uh, but they definitely, from here where my cursor is, they're, they are doing something. They're trying to uh, turn this storm, okay? This part right here was moving south uh, westward, okay? This whole area, this thing was moving southwestward westward yesterday and the day before but now you can see that there's a punch going on over here to to try to stall it and twist it i don't think that they have it quite down yet but uh what they do have down is these uh these rogue rainstorms uh that we've been seeing all across the country look at california it's doing the pinwheel again with the uh radiation uh, spikes, electromagnetic radiation spikes over here in Southern California. Uh, we're spiking up here in Northern Texas. And once again, the big news here is Barry, which looks just like a huge rain event. So yeah, if this thing continues to move real slow up here north northward, and if they get this to wrap around a little bit, okay. But I don't see this turning into a hurricane. I mean, man, that would be like unbelievable if this thing wrapped around within the next couple of hours. And uh, I, I've never seen a hurricane form uh, over land, have you? So basically, that's what would have to happen. What are your thoughts, folks? This is real strange. I know a lot of pe people have been saying weather warfare. And when it comes to soaking the heck out of the country, folks, this is the wettest 12 months in the history of the United States. The wettest 12 months in the history of the United States. And we're getting more rain. Now, this whole area, once again, folks, yeah, I mean, they are going to get inundated and it's gonna get and it's gonna be bad. There's gonna be a lot of flooding. And are are there some strong winds in in this storm right here? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But consensus is that this is a man made storm and we're seeing a lot of these rogue man-made storms it's just my opinion folks anyway have a great weekend we have some uh wonderful interviews coming up very soon today as a matter of fact and uh two more in the next couple of days and a big surprise one coming up that some people will uh be fascinated by some people might be repulsed by this gentleman but uh he is interesting nonetheless God bless you folks. Take care, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Hey guys, if you want to support our channel and yourself as well, please visit our two online stores. First, Healthy Place Botanicals. 
for a full line of organic essential oils and personal care products, and second, Healthy Place Hemp, which features our amazing organic CBD products. All of our products are organic and of the highest quality. Email me if you have any questions about any of our products or if you'd like to open up your own Healthy Place online store.